this episode of Gearbox, I'm looking at the Symmetrix Prism series. Now, what I have here on the desk in front of me is a Symmetrix Prism 4x4. Now, this is an audio DSP, uh, but it comes in a range of sizes. There's an 8x8, a 12x12, and a 16x16. 16 16. So that's obviously in and out. Uh, it's mic pre's with phantom power. So they, uh, they've all got that capability. Uh, there's also a 64x64 64 64 Dante interface on all of the devices, plus an ARC, uh, ARC interface for Symmetrics range of control and accessories. And this is the big uh, standout point of the PRISM series. Uh, there's all the different sizes of actual DSP, plus there is a huge range of simple and complicated wall controllers, mountable controllers, Dante expansion options and a free web interface for the device as well. So it's not really just you know the audio DSP that you're buying into, it's an entire environment that's actually really, really, really easy to integrate. Now, um, very much like uh, most off-the-shelf audio DSP these days, uh, you pick it up, you plug it into your computer, you've got DHCP enabled by default, so if you're on a network with DHCP, you computer gets an IP, this gets an IP. Um, I'm not running anything particularly complicated here, so in order for me to connect this device to the Composer software, I actually just entered a IP, an IP in the same range, uh, which was pretty straightforward, and bang, I'm connected, and within minutes I've basically got a design up and running, and I've gone online with the unit. Now, anybody who's ever programmed Audio DSP from any manufacturer would be able to do the same thing. It was quick, it was simple, it was efficient. What I really like about this unit is that it's powered over Ethernet. So it comes with a power adapter, Cat5, straight up the back, it's powered on. Um, you can do pretty much anything you'd expect you can do on an audio DSP, open architecture audio DSP. There's a range of different EQs, dynamics, mixes, matrix mixes, monitoring, um, pretty much everything you'd expect. The handy ability to create templates to then load up if you keep doing the same kind of job over and over. Um, there's also other really handy interfaces in the range like a telephone interface. Um, so you can pretty much do anything with these. Now, one other feature I really liked is that the Dante integration is pretty good. You can actually do all of the Dante patching in terms of send and receive to other devices that are compatible on the network from Composer. Uh, this saves you having to open up another application, you know, Dante controller or whatever your mix is using if you're integrating a mixer. And you can do it all from the Composer software. So these use the same engine as the, uh, the more you know, kitted out edge and radius options from Symmetrix and are aiming to be at a more affordable and easier end to use of the market. And uh, I think they've hit it there. It's really simple to get up and running. It's got everything you need in the box. You can get it pretty much any size you want. And if that's not enough, you can gang them together, link them uh, and have Dante expansion as well. So I think they've created quite a flexible environment here. And uh, I think it's really, really good for the job.